Now, interesting, you know, how did we, here's a vision, here's the reward, finally, the world has seen you and we won. But HQ stands for happiness quotient. And I think what you were just saying, it's all about the people. And fortunately, this office was also the highest rated on happiness quotient. It's an employee survey, yeah? Not just in India, but in the entire region, Asia Pacific region, we got the highest scores. What we found was the, there seems to be a very direct correlation. Clarity of vision, communication of vision, a system, but not just a system, but the passion and the excitement and, you know, a daily excitement of showing your work and saying, do you think I've made it? Do you think I'll be able to achieve what I want to achieve? So a daily injection, a daily dose, but then breaking it down quarter by quarter and most importantly, rewarding, recognizing and sharing. Sharing was the most important thing, which is why the happiness quotient was so high for us in Chennai and which is what happened. The other thing was we said, you know, that same distinction story. We said the first time this whole transition was happening, we said we're not aiming for an award in India. We, before we won the best award in India, highest award in India, we aimed for Khan and we had a plan. We had a very clear plan that first year. Fortunately, three people bought into my idea. And in that group, once the three got that reward, the next year it was very easy for more people to join in. So that's the other thing that I'd like to share, is create those groups of excellence and everybody then wants to emulate and participate and win. Uh, these are two leaders who've become national global leaders out of Chennai and these are two people who people look to. Not enough to have one, not enough to have two actually, now the next three or four are ready. And we have Senthil, who's our creative leader, who's brought in a lot of those cards, but not alone. He's worked in his team, he's developed a team and created a whole atmosphere in the agency that has led to this feeling of wanting to win and wanting to do brilliant work. Maithili, who's our thought leader, and she has actually patented and created this whole brand chakras of how holistic health for your brand. And that is really something that we are extremely proud of, apart from the fact that she is a resource out of Chennai, so is Senthil, that is a resource for the world and resource for India. So with that, that's one story. Coming to the second story, which is a live example, Times of India launched in Chennai. And we had to, uh, you know, get them to uh, make a huge impact because there was an existing leader. Now I'm going to share this case with you. There may be a lot of loyalists of the Hindu newspaper. I myself read the Hindu and the Times of India. But I'd just like to share this as an example for you. Yeah? So here was an outsider versus a local leader, yeah? And we had to engage and connect and celebrate colorful Chennai and colorful Tamil culture. That was the, ch and, and most importantly, Chennai was traditional yet changing. So we said, what can Times of India be? And those of you who may remember, the Times of India was launched with a front page editorial that talked about change. And that's really what this was all about. Now, this is a very fun case that I'm going to share with you. So how does the outsider become insider, become somebody who really understands Chennai? And it, it was really this thing about, you know, it's ours. And picked on a cultural symbolism. It wasn't planned because you're sitting there, Rajan. Okay, so politics and song and dance are just absolutely a part of the culture here. And we therefore said it has to be vibrant, colorful. We must celebrate ourselves, our Chennai, our lives. And it's for the mass. Please remember, it's not for the elite. It's for a newspaper is read by a huge segment. So it has to be something that will appeal, appeal across. Now, 
Before I go on to show you the work, I'd just like to ask you to imagine. Here is a person who's come up with the idea, okay? Comes up with a script, talks to the client. Now there are as many opinions. Now here's the task of ensuring excellence. As many opinions as there are people in the room. So there is the outside world and within the agency. So we have to manage to keep the trueness of the, the, the soul of the idea intact. At the same time, take feedback and ensure sanctity of the need for the strategy. That's one. The second is there is a person who's going to help actually produce the film, the producer. He has to see or she has to see the vision behind the idea. And the number of people who are going to be linked together, that circle that I talked about, that has to ensure the perfect idea is delivered at the end. So I'm just going to play you a clip that tells you what happened, and then we'll end there after that. Just to tell you, we didn't end there. Uh, we made this television commercial. Uh, the song was spotted before the film was released, eight months before the film was released, this song soundtrack. And uh, what was done was it was put on uh, in all kinds of way, whether it was radio, whether it was the fact that dance steps were invented. So people really participated. That's what we mean by time is the new currency. We don't just believe in 30 seconds commercial, but what happens in the 31st second. So all the ways in which for the people of Chennai to interact with this idea. And what is important is that this ad, this is the one that got us two gold lines, not just for the company, not just for our office, but they were the, for the first time for the country in this category. Thank you. Yeah, that, was, uh, that was really colorful and vibrant, Anita. Yeah, so uh, the key ideas, talking of uh, the pegs of excellence, pegs not of the intoxicating variety, but of the human variety. Having a few people whom you first sell your idea and then how do we involve a whole lot of others. In a way, uh, it goes back to the thought I did, you know, can you have a few key people who in a way you co-create your whole institution with and then kind of leave them as pillars to take the idea forward, disseminate and things like that.